The International Manufacturing Product Development Program is a program that is emulating what it's like to do business in the global market. It's about interpersonal relationships with vendors and suppliers, knowing how to manage the supply chain, and also how to work and communicate with others on a grander scale. The goal is to really be able to understand the complete supply chain life cycle. So really understanding what goes into production, what is the international perspective that's included in production for supply chain, and what it really means to produce a collection. Not necessarily fully in design, but also learning really the back end and how the industry really works. This year our sponsor is Color Solutions International, also known as CSI. They're a color trend forecasting and consulting agency and they work with some of the biggest brands in the industry to help them really find out what colors are going to be trending and to forecast major themes and trends. Our challenge this year was all about trend forecasting and doing research to predict what was going to be trending so that we could create garments and accessories that would be prevalent in the trend books to share with all of their industry partners. They assigned us five categories, wellness, wearable tech, luxury, travel, and sleep. When we first started, it was pretty much looking at the lifestyle, understanding our consumer. We really couldn't think of products right away. We had to think, who is this person? Where do we see them? What are they doing? What are they interested in? Where are they living? So being able to travel abroad in Paris and Milan, be able to go trend shopping and see how they live. I noticed a lot of their stuff was more colorful. We wouldn't know that if we didn't go there. So if you're doing business with a country, you want to be able to go there and know exactly what they're like because it doesn't make sense to do business if you don't know them at all. In Europe, just the way they think of things is a lot different than over here in America. So after coming back from Europe, I realized not to take it too literal. I ended up designing apparel that was very comfortable, that used fibers that are more sustainable, like milk protein fibers and soybean fibers. And I designed tops and bottoms that were more baggy, but they still gave the woman like sort of a silhouette. My consumer is a millennial woman. She's 25 to 35. She's really focused on the environment and she, she is purchasing garments that are more for the long run than the short run. My category is children's sleepwear for girls ages 7 to 12 years old. They're young, they're youthful, they like to play sports. I design a lot of different technology products and apparel products for the sleep category. The designs on the, on the fabrics, I actually made them by myself. I create the pattern and I send it to the printing company so they can print it on the fabrics only. Most of my fabrics are stretchy fabric that I the mostly use. Fiber is recycled polyester because I want to raise the awareness of being sustainable. So using recycled polyester can bump up people questioning what kind of fabric is this? It feels the same as the spandex but it's different. My category is wearable tag female and I design mainly for active wear, for helping female to have a better workout. I designed a collection that's helped female to build up their body. My category was travel male. Within my category, we came up with experience travel, which is going places where you're going to experience it as a family and keep those as traditions or memories. We also looked at leisure, which is like a combination of business travel and leisure time. We also looked into ecotourism, which is like activist tourism, where you go and you help clean up the beaches. And then we also looked at hotspots. For Gen Zs especially, we see that personalization is really big for them and color, bold color. I ended up designing very technology, uh, game technology driven and customizable garments. Some of the research that I took and put into mine was a lot of the fabrication and a lot of what the consumer wants to do. So the jumpsuit that I created is a wicking friendly jumpsuit and it has printable circuits so that the consumer can actually use the cuffs of their jumpsuit as the game controller. I also designed a backpack that has a customizable screen on it so the child can literally take a picture of their face, their dog, whatever they want, their favorite superhero, and it can be displayed on their backpack 
Gaming is going to kind of revolutionize the future of everything coming forwards because people really want to escape and gaming is a way to escape. So by having clothing and technology that can enhance that performance, it's going to be next level and it's going to be very prevalent. This program focuses on the entrepreneurship, so you have to be aware where your materials are coming from. Not only so much as a cost efficiency, but also if they are eco-friendly, if how do they affect our, our world or our environment, because right now we're in that generation where we are, in a sense, not fixing the problem, but trying to make it better and stopping the bad habits and the negative effects that the fashion industry as a whole has had to the world. Learning about a global perspective in terms of how big the fashion industry really is and how many different places do production and it goes into other things as sustainability, confronting global issues that are happening. The more you become educated about these issues, the more that you're able to help solve that pain in the world globally. We learned about compliance, we learned about different shipping methods, we learned about how to once again communicate cross-culturally. We learned about a lot of aspects of international manufacturing that I feel like really helps you to be a full rounded person. Even just putting international manufacturing on your resume I think is impressive, but to actually come away with the book and the products that we're doing I think will be really impressive. You really start to understand that you have to think about all your designs, the full picture, from the moment you're sketching. You have to think, is this actually going to be able to be made? Does it fit in compliance? Is it sustainable enough? And you learn all that stuff in this program. You learn how to think of the entire picture of development just from designing. I am so much more confident now going out into the workforce because I have really learned how to validate myself, which I feel is something really important that I never would have thought of beforehand. I know now how to show them the research and show what will be prevalent to prove that I have the answers to what the workforce is going to need.